Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to import an IntelliJ IDEA Maven Java project in Eclipse. Okay, so we will see everything in detail. Before going to proceed, let's read this important information. At present, migration from IntelliJ IDEA to Eclipse for a, pro a Java project there are certain limitations so first we have to understand these limitations you can see the notes here intellij idea modules with the multiple content routes cannot be migrated external source in eclipse are not migrated only java modules are created automatically during the export however any module can be converted to eclipse compatible format only and the default workspace gr is not converted to or from the java project the same information available on the IntelliJ IDEA official website. You can check and verify this as well. Let's do some action. So here we will simply create a simple Maven Java project inside the IntelliJ IDEA after that export activity so we can import inside the Eclipse. So here I have mentioned the steps and we are going to follow these steps one by one. I will explain you through every step. Let's do it. In the first step, we must need Eclipse integration plugin. So you open, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So you can simply launch and open uh, any current window because we have to go and check the plugin is there or not. If plugin is not there or not enabled, we have to enable it. Go to this option and then go to the file in this drop down list you have to come downside and you can see this export item and here on the right hand side you must have this option available project to eclipse we will use in the second step okay then go to the settings when you come here in the settings window you will find the plugins on this left hand side when you click on it you will see the details come at this search place type eclipse integration and then you will find the eclipser okay please check if this is installed you can proceed to the next step if it is not there not there so please click on the install button and this will be quickly installed on your system and then we can proceed i hope you have installed and now we can proceed so in the step one we have seen that we have uh, enabled the eclipse integration plugin now at the step two we are going to simply create a simple maven java project in intellij idea community edition so guys if you have any maven java project ready you can simply jump to step three for those who don't have let's create a simple maven project inside the intellij idea come back to the id go to the file menu then go to the new option click on this project option and here in this new project window here in the generators section just click on the maven arch type on the right hand side you will see some fields so here you'll see some fields so here we have to provide the inputs so the first is the project name field so you can simply give any name so i'm giving my first demo project or first test project whatever you want to give the second is the location the location where you want to put your project or if you have any selective location for your projects so simply select that folder so i have created one separate folder for this demo so i have selected this folder right done now we're moving to the next field gdk so when you click on the drop down you will see the all jdk setup will appear so i'm going with the 17 jdk version so a little bit down version because in the eclipse we are using java 20 or later version so this will work there easily without any problem then come to the arch type option when you click on this drop down you will see lots of things so we have to select the java maven quick start okay if you are not able to find anything so simply delete everything here and type quick start then you will see the filtered result and select it 
okay that's it and then you will see the advanced setting if you want to change the group id or defect id or you want to put something in the version you can simply go ahead and change let's create and then this will show you this pop-up window you want to open the new wind as a new window new window go with new window and we will close the previous one because we don't have any use and just you can see here at this bottom that activities of setting up the project is going on and a few important things are happening here also you can see the progress bar here so we have to wait for a few seconds and then and your project your maven project will be ready and you can see here in this project tool window and make sure you are connected to the internet while setting up this now we can simply expand the tree of our project when you expand this src node you will see the complete structure of your project here this is our pom.xml file properly placed properly created when you expand this you will see the jdk and the maven libraries we will perform the next step once uh, this uh, bottom activity will be completed meanwhile we will see few things this is our uh, main class file so here i am doing some changes like putting some new different statement and then we will run it after importing this project inside the eclipse so i have changed this statement little bit okay that's it now come back here in this notepad so we have created the maven project now come to the step three in this step three we will perform the export activity so and uh, you have to follow my instructions okay now select the project go to this file and uh, just come to the downside uh, come to the export then click on this project to eclipse then you will see a window here like in this window you will see the modules list and uh, if you have a multiple modules you can select at once or so you can select uh, only one at a time and then uh, you can choose the first option you can choose the first option convert select modules into eclipse compatible format so this option will select the modules and the selected module will be exported for the eclipse compatible format and the second option is there the checkbox export non module libraries so what will happen when you tick this box intellij idea creates a user library configuration file for the eclipse uh, like uh, with the extension dot user libraries i will show you once we will do this activity and this file will contain the definition of all external libraries used in the project okay and then the uh, last option is there the path to the resulting dot user libraries so uh, this information is showing the path for the just created file uh, with the extension user libraries okay so i think now click on this okay button okay once you click on the okay you will see some activity will uh, go on and here in this project tool window you will see the project is exported in the same directory okay same directory right where our project exists and you will see the eclipse compatible files you must have dot class part dot project and dot user libraries right so three files must be there after that we can jump to the next step so files generated now uh, we are going to perform the activity to import this uh, project into the eclipse now we are ready okay so we must have this path okay now i will launch the eclipse so my workspace is uh, set up properly 
now I will go to the file I will click on this import then you have to choose the section Maven existing Maven project click next and this use this button browse directory so we have to go to the same place where our IntelliJ project is there and we have exported the compatible uh, compatible uh, Java project so this is our IntelliJ IDEA Eclipse project workspace and this is our project I have selected the same folder then Eclipse ID detected this POM file and click the finish wait for a few seconds and your project will be exported imported here inside the Eclipse. Now we can see uh, inside the project explorer tab as well. This is our project. You can see SRC structure, SRC ORG example, upload Java file. See this? The changes we have done here inside the IntelliJ IDEA file. So these are appearing here inside the main class file. And now we are ready to run it. Do the right click, run as Java file and see file execution done successfully. Message, I'm from IntelliJ IDEA. So this project has been successfully imported inside the Eclipse IDE. So guys, you have seen the way to export the IntelliJ IDEA Maven project and import the same project inside the Eclipse IDE. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support and learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help